Hello guys, this is uh, Anand from Intuition Systems. This is uh, the second part of our video series. In this video, we're going to discuss about uh, the inventory feature in IVPOS. So, uh, 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 in this video, we can manage the inventory management as well as the vendor management. I uh, will have a brief uh, demonstration of how it can be done. So these are the products uh, we have in our product portfolio or product uh, list. For example, in order to manage the inventory, you need to go to the inventory indent. And we'll see that we have two low stocks. One is for jeans, the another one is for uh, the Palazzo. Let's say that we are getting the stock for jeans and Palazzo. And in order to do that, you just click on jeans. So the whatever stock you're getting, let's say you're getting 100 quantity at the rate of uh, 100 rupees. You're adding that, it will be added. And for Palazzo, let's say you're getting 150 quantity at the rate of 1000. You're adding that. So at the bottom you will see that you have added two items and once you click on that you will go to the confirmation tab where you will see the, the things you have added right away or the stock you got it today. So you can either add the tax which is present in the bill. Let's, for this scenario I am going to add like 14 percentage and if there is a discount the vendor is providing add that as well. In this case, I'm going to give like 5%. I'm going to save that. I'm going to add uh, add this uh, items to my existing product list. I have to select a vendor. If there is no vendor right now, you can add, you can add a vendor. Let's add a vendor like uh, Dheeraj Suppliers. enter his phone number you can enter the email ID address and the GSTIN as well and you can save the vendor now add the vendor and if the the bill he provides has an invoice number enter the invoice number as well and the date and time you're getting the stock and if you're going to pay anything right now you're going to do that as well. And you can save this invoice or this save the bill. And that is added uh, to the stocks. And if you want to see that bill, go to the bill history. You will see that you got stocks from uh, the rich suppliers. You can see that. As well as if you want to list based on vendor, you can see you can see that the supplier is one of the, your vendor and you can see what is the bills or what are the things he has supplied so far you can see that as well and if you want to see the report for particular items you can see that well, for jeans uh, this is the first listing that you got uh, indent and likewise it will be listed if you got multiple times or for different point of the times and this you can filter based on custom time or all time bills everything can be done so guys this is the the brief uh, explanation on inventory management and vendor management. Thank you.